Let's start by clearing our workspace. We only need a few very basic things. A simple compact cleaning kit, some bore cleaner, some gun oil, and some paper towel or a rag for easy cleanup. Step 1. We need to make sure our weapon is empty. The XD has a loaded chamber indicator as well as a striker indicator. Both show us the weapon is clear, but it's a good habit to both visually inspect that the weapon is empty and to even do a finger check. Step 2. We need to disassemble the weapon. With the weapon pointed in a safe direction, we're going to flip the disassembly lever clockwise. It can be a little difficult from the factory the first time you disassemble the gun. Now we're going to pull the trigger while sliding the slide off of the frame. Next, we remove the recoil spring and the barrel. Springfield doesn't recommend stripping the weapon down any further than this, so we won't for general maintenance. Step 3. Next we want to clean the gun of any powder and debris, especially the feed ramp and the barrel. We'll spray one of our cleaning cloths with bore cleaner. And we'll then assemble our cleaning rod. You want to clean the barrel thoroughly by running the cloth through multiple times until the cloth stops getting dirty. Next, you want to clean the feed ramp. The XD feed ramp should be cleaned until it is shiny again. The mirror smooth surface is important for reliable feeding and it helps prevent malfunctions. Next, we're going to run our wire brush through the barrel. Finally, I like to take a second cloth with just a spray of the cleaner and I like to cover the surfaces that tend to get grimy with gunpowder over time. We're going to just clean the interior surfaces of the slide. We'll also wipe down the frame. This part is not as critical to operation of the firearm, but over time these things can get very dirty. Step 4. Once clean, it's time to oil the surfaces that see the most friction. We'll put a thin layer on the inside of the rails. Next, we'll put a generous amount on the exterior of the barrel. We'll then use a cleaning cloth to spread the oil evenly over the barrel area. The barrel should have a slight sheen. Lastly, we'll put a little bit of oil on the recoil spring and rod. Step 5. It's time to reassemble. First we put the barrel back in the slide, then we replace the recoil spring, making sure to place the recoil spring in the correct direction. Finally, we replace the slide on the frame and we rotate the lever back into place. We wipe off any excess oil with a paper towel and make sure that the weapon is dry. Lastly, we dry fire the weapon and slide the magazine back in the weapon. Your weapon is now clean and ready to go. If this video, please subscribe, like, and follow us where you'll find Second Amendment news, training content, honest gear reviews, drills you can do at home, updates on our latest training technology, and more content that will help you in your journey to becoming a better marksman. Train often and be safe.